Well, hello, you lovely challenge seekers. Matthew here with Game for Your Health, and today we are looking at the Eastern Lie Rebel Camp. Now, this one was pretty tough, I'm not going to lie, but I found a pretty good strategy here, and there's three different checkpoints. So you're going to want to know where each of these three checkpoints are. And at the end, there's also a gun you want to grab to defeat the final enemy. And you don't want to use it until you need to, which is only on the final enemy. Because you don't want any chance of yourself dying on that final enemy. It can get very frustrating. So, in this beginning section, we just got two horsemen. And I pretty much took them out pretty easily here. This was not, this is not the hard part. It's that main big camp where everybody is. That's the tough part. So after you kill these first two horsemen, you're going to get a checkpoint. So let's take care of these guys. Okay, now that both the horsemen are down, that's essentially the checkpoint. You really got to get up to that little rock ledge or get closer to the camp to kind of solidify the checkpoint. So that's what I'm doing here. And I ended up drawing one of the enemy's attention and getting a nice little stealth kill on one of them here. All right, this is it, the tough part. Now, I chose to just not stealth this because I had failed at stealth, and stealth takes a long time. So if you want to go full combat, I would recommend at the very least marking these people, and that'll help make it easier for you. The gun that I'm going to show you at the very end, I'm not going to collect it. If you want to, you can Fast forward to the end of this video and see the gun I'm talking about. I think it's a scrapper cannon. And it's got 75 bullets in it. And so I recommend saving it for the end. Look at so you can see. Not going stealth on this run. So I had a pretty great strategy going here. Get him into the acid state and then go for the headshot. Let's 
better. subsiding.
Okay, since I killed the last guy, boom, that's a checkpoint. And now this whole area is completely cleared out on the bottom section. So there's actually a cave right near that, behind, behind that river there's a cave with some uh, green shine, silver, whatever it's called in there. That's the only thing I didn't get in the video. And that top section is all that's left now. So those enemies that are up there are all that we're dealing with now. And they pretty much pull that drawbridge up when you get near them, but that's fine. Just let them do that anyways, because you're going to see my strategy that I came up with here. Standing here, you're going to see they're going to pull up that bridge. Standing here and then funneling them into the cave or up there, it's super easy to shoot one at a time. And so that ended up working better for me than trying to sneak in here onto the bridge. So don't even worry about the bridge. Just let them pull it up. It's This area co totally confuses the enemy AI anyways. The human AI in this game is not good. So you can very easily trick them. They, they don't even notice when their friend is shooting at you. Like, you can kill their friend and they're like, Where is she? What's going on? You'll see that happen multiple times here. So, pretty easy. Just take them out like I'm doing from here. And make sure you roll. They like to do the fire and, and cover this whole area. So this area can get completely covered in fire. You gotta keep that in mind. Other than that, it's just an arrow battle. Oh, and then we're gonna collect the gun at the end. You're gonna see me collect that right for the last enemy.
Alright, that's it. That was the last guy, and now it's just the leader. And so before we take out the leader, we want to make sure we pick up the gun that we saved for just this occasion. There it is. The Ravager cannon. Or is it the Ravager? I don't know. Either way, it's a cannon. Very powerful. And basically decimates this guy pretty much instantly. And so that's why I recommend saving it, because... If you die on this guy, you're basically redoing the fight with those all the enemies at the top, and that can get frustrating. So yeah, with this thing, I was able to run all the way around. You'll see, I, f I find it right here. Oh, I think I do collect the green shine silver. Yeah, there it is. Right here in the cave, make sure you collect that silver. There's also a ton of purple boxes. I think there's like four within the camp itself. And I believe I collected some of those during the fight. Some of them off camera here so make sure you scour this camp and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now i'm going to be doing monday and thursday videos now and i'm also experimenting with how much commentary i put into these videos and how i produce them in general so i hope you guys enjoy let me know in the comments if you like the videos if you like the guides what you want to see me do in the game because once i beat this game on ultra hard definitely going to get into mods and have a lot of fun with it Bye for now, guys. She's got a heavy weapon.
behind. One of these structures is a command center. 